my why, particularly when I was at the studio level, was I just absolutely loved how excited the kids would get with the projects. And I absolutely loved to dot time. I absolutely loved that moment where the kiddos would show their parent the project. And that fueled me. Um, it also fueled, fueled me that I really got to know the families. I saw families, you know, having babies and growing. And I saw the kids moving through their elementary age. And, you know, ultimately we even saw some of, the, or we still do actually see those kids coming back and starting to work for the studio. So that was really exciting to me. I felt like I was really doing great things for, for my community. I have so many whys. I don't even really know to start, um, but um, everything Laura said, yes. Um, kids showing their projects. Um, you know, we had a, we have a group that, well, we have a um, after school program that we do a couple after school programs but this past week we had when we went to the school the kids were just genuinely happy to see us not just me either my teachers asking when the teacher is missing where are they where is miss piano where is this person where is this? they coming up and just giving us leg hugs and they're so warm and fill my heart and those fulfill my we haven't even been like so full of love and um, it's such, it's so genuine because when you're working with children, they're very honest. So when they're happy, they're not faking their, you know, they're not faking their emotions or when they're happy, they're, they're, they're honest in that emotion. So that is, it really like, it's like a cup, like you're just filling it up, it up more and more and more. And it's, and it's, I, the kids really became more of the, and, I, when I, and initially when I first started the, the business, my kids were the why, and now it's more shifting to that all the other kids are the why and all my kids that come and take our classes and all of our food creators around town, like they become my why because they just genuinely enjoy working with us and being with us and being in class, happy to see us come, sad to see us leave. It's just, it's wonderful. So that's, that's kind of like where I see it. Now. Yeah. You know, oh, I, I, I wanted to add one more reason to my why and I just absolutely love how kids are so fearless in their approach to their artwork. And I think us grown up folks can learn a lot from that. I know I, you know, as a hobby, I do some art on my, on my own time also. And I even feel a little nervous and apprehensive as I start a project. And uh, there's many times that I think back to how the kids just, you know, wholeheartedly dive into it. And I admire that. I wish I were more like that. So I think there's a lot to be learned from the kids too. So, um, community arts has always been something that I believe in. I went to art school and even in art school, I felt like some people were making artwork that was really not accessible to uh, and kind of like elitist. So I felt like um, community arts was kind of where I belonged. But um, this past weekend, my girls, uh, they're 10 and 6, and they um, were in a play that they had been rehearsing for a while. And um, the, I don't know, maybe 30 kids were in it, something like that. They had four performances. And the amount of kids I knew from Kid Create was really cool. So there's like a community around kids that um, are into the arts, whether it be like choir, theater, visual arts. And I think um, it's really nice because if your kid isn't in on the baseball team or whatever happens to be like the big in Eden Prairie it would be hockey probably you know um, <laughs> and look not a part of that community then um we have created a you know help we're helping to create a community for those kids um in within you know Oak Park or Chicago my wise it's you guys have kind of hit it um the nail on the head because it is always the kids like either because you see them in the schools or um because you see them around the neighborhood I do a lot of stuff with the city and and it's super fun because the parents always make sure they bring the kids to your table um so that's always fun um my why to start uh was to be in the city where my kids were <laughs> more times than not, because I was in restaurants and far, far away uh, for a lot of hours a day. So that's still my why, like I'm local now. 
I don't think I leave Mansfield too often other than to go teach classes in Plano or whatever. But um, the other thing that I was thinking is that I do a lot of work too with um, with uh, handicapped children or uh, special ed in different schools. And that is awesome because they are, they give you a different kind of vibe from when they can get things accomplished because they're usually told that they can't. Um, so that's, it's always the kids and what they give back to you. I think that is our driver. <laughs>